Welcome to my latest case, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. To start, choose Junior or Senior Detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Gameplay Overview. Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch, have been called away on some kind of emergency. They had Dave Gregory, he's their foreman, pick me up at the airport. He gave me a phone number, told me to call the Raleigh's at that number as soon as I got settled in, and refused to tell me anything else. In fact, he barely said two words to me the whole ride to the ranch. What's worse, Bess and George aren't here yet, which is very strange, because even though we had to take different flights, we figured we'd get into Phoenix at about the same time. Being here without them feels odd. After all, the Raleigh's are their aunt and uncle, not mine. I wouldn't even be here if Bess and George hadn't begged them to invite me out to the ranch for two weeks, too. Until about three months ago, the Raleigh's owned a clothing store. Bess said it was always their dream to sell the store and buy a cattle ranch. I hope they're okay, but frankly, as beautiful as Shadow Ranch is, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this place. Love, Nancy. That's right, everyone. It's time for more Nancy Drew. I'm your Gibbs, and we're here. This is Nancy Drew number 10. And it has cowboys wearing chaps and all sorts of other kind of cool things going on here. And I also noticed that the interface looks completely different, which is great. Uh, what does this do? Okay, so this is my kind of inventory thing, I guess. Yeah, this should be a notebook. So this is my case journal and my task list. And then there's my cell phone. Ooh, look, it's got web access, does it? Internet browser? <laughs> this is the best! I can, like, search for YouTube videos or something, I don't know. Alright, let's call. Who are we supposed to call here? Directory. Let's call the Raleigh's. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy! Are you at the ranch? Yes, and I'm a little concerned that you're not. Is everything all right? Oh, everything's fine. I mean, it is now. It wasn't last night, of course. Everything would have been fine last night if you hadn't made such a fuss. How could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake in our bedroom for Pete's sake. Did you say rattlesnake? I told Ed to leave it alone and let one of the hands get it out of there, but no, Ed started poking at it with my yardstick, and all of a sudden it leapt up and bit him. Uh, where? Where? In the bedroom, dear. I could have sworn I mentioned that. No, no Mrs. Raleigh. I mean, <laughs> where did it bite him? On his arm? On his leg? Oh, on his arm, just below the elbow. Swelled up something awful. But fortunately, he's doing much better today, and the doctors think he'll be well enough to go home in a day or so. I'm well enough to go home right now. No, you're not. If I don't stay here with him, he'll get up and walk right out that door. No, I won't. Okay... Would you rather that Bess and George and I postpone our visit? Oh, good heavens, no. I won't hear of it. You're going to go on as if none of this ever happened. You just go get a horse from Tex, he's the head wrangler, and go riding to your heart's content. I told Shorty to go ahead with the cookout I planned for tonight and... The envelope! Have her take that envelope to Mary. Oh, good idea. There's an envelope in the roll-top desk in the den marked Mary. If you could ride over to Mary Yazzie's and give it to her, we'd really appreciate it. I'd love to. Is there an address on the envelope? Dave will tell you how to get there. She's gonna have to get the key to the desk from him, too. Oh, that's right. I always lock the roll top. Dave has the key. Oh, dear. It seems like there was something else I wanted to tell you. The horse, Bed. Tell her about the phantom horse. Did he say phantom horse? Yes. You see, last night we... Hello, Mr. Raleigh. Time for those tests. Uh-oh. We have to go. Don't worry about us, dear. You just go have fun. Just be sure to wear a hat and drink plenty of water. It's gonna be another hot one. Bye! No, wait. Just tell me about the... <laughs> the phantom, phantom horse? Oh, no. We have River Heights wireless service here. Alrighty then. So it's time for me to do some exploration. Uh, that's right, I, I like to spend the first little bit when I play the uh, Nancy Drew games just checking out my surroundings, poking hmm. around a little bit. Hmm. It's locked. So clearly we can't get in there. 
some pillows, it looks like, or maybe it's blankets. Uh, what's going Something on here? Something goes here. Something goes there. So we've got, uh, what else can we look at here? Let's go this way. Books, there's usually something hiding in the books. Echo of the gecko? <laughs> what? Round the bear bed. Alright, let me just check something here. Uh, they wanna... Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not just well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch have... There we go. Just to kind of help me out here just a little bit. So, uh, nothing looks like it can be opened. Oh, oh wait, what's this? City Slicker's Guide to Ranch Horses. Book two. I know nothing about horses. I am totally a city boy. Food equals 1.5% minus 3% of body. What? Hey, oh boy, 1,000 pound horse. That's how much hay it needs. All the good stuff here. Looks complicated, actually. Improper feeding. Huh. Interesting. Well, we don't want to have improper feeding. We got a swollen tissue. Ouch, that doesn't look comfortable at all. What color is the horse? Chestnut, black, sorrel, bay. Ooh, I like that. Sorrel. Buckskin, palomino. I had no idea there were so many different colors of horses. It just shows you how much I know. Oh, I do like the white horse, though. Alright, cool. So that's a cool book on horses. A city slicker's guide, of course. So, uh, what's over here? Let's see. Still fixing up the front porch. Use the back. Dave. We got some uh, cool tunes here. So this is the same book, isn't it? No, this is not. I am totally gonna learn about horses. Yay! I'm sure there's several of you out there that are already uh, huge fans of the uh, horses, so maybe this is uh, <laughs> nothing new for you. Totally new for me. That's not the right time. Must be broken. What is the right time? I don't know. It must be a puzzle. Some newspapers. Paint dries in record time due to record heat. The uh, country music just feels so loud to me, but anyways, I'll uh, check it out after this video. Phoenix and surrounding areas will be hot and dry today with temperatures expected to reach the mid-90s by 5 this afternoon. After that, temperatures will begin to drop with a nighttime low in the mid-60s. Most areas to the south and west of Phoenix can expect more heat for the next several days, while areas to the north and east should also expect rapidly developing thunderstorms. So if you're going to be hiking, biking, camping, or horseback riding, be aware that sudden downpours and flash floods are always a possibility at this time of year, and don't go into the wilderness areas unprepared. We've got several livestock auctions in the area tonight and tomorrow. Small animals, including goats, rabbits, and chickens, will be auctioned off at Barney Hall in Apache Junction, with doors opening at 6 and bidding beginning at 7. Barney Hall is located at 1339 South North Street. Also tonight, there's a horse auction at Lobenthal Farms, located on Route 5 in Gilbert. Doors will open at 5 for stall inspection of sale animals. Bidding starts promptly at 7. At 10 a.m. tomorrow, that's 10 in the morning, folks, there'll be video cattle auction over in the Gemstone Room at the Blue Dog Hotel in Rittenhouse, featuring Charlay and Angus breeding stock. Hear that? That's the sound of happy cattle, healthy cattle, cattle whose diet includes Big Pink Mineral Supplement, chelated for easy absorption. Big Pink is the perfect blend of calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, chlorine, potassium, sulfur, cobalt, copper, fluoride, iodine, iron, manganese, selenium, and zinc. Minerals no bovine should be without. So for big results, stock up on Big Pink now. Is it over yet? <laughs> Francis right, Humber. Wonder who she was. Mm, yeah, I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? Ooh, check out the refrigerator. 
One pinch, one dash, one... Oh my gosh, look at all this measurement stuff. One quart, four pecks. <laughs> okay, Sheriff. We should know that number, shouldn't we? Oh, there's the music again. Hey, who's this guy? Okay, that music's gotta go... Just... Just... Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. There we go. Let's try that. That's a little better. Hello there. What do we got? We got bread. So that's a recipe for bread. Oh, okay. So we got a bunch of recipes. Okay, we'll come back to that. Vinegar pie. Did I not just turn down the music? Did I not just do that? All right, who's this guy? Hi there. Hey, you must be Nancy. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurmond. Welcome to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the Raleighs, right? Bet said something about a phantom horse. Do you know what she was talking about? Sure do. See, I was just about to crawl into bed last night when all of a sudden this glowing horse comes galloping up outside. It stops and rears and paws, whinnying and snorting. Then it just wheels around and gallops off into the night. It was Dirk Valentine's horse, you know. Now it's a phantom. Okay. Dirk Valentine? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around here back in the 1880s. Legend has it he was in love with Frances Humber. She lived right here on Shadow Ranch. Unfortunately, her daddy was the sheriff. Something tells me this story does not have a happy ending. Because of him, Valentine was captured and eventually hanged. Ever since, the ghost of his horse has been roaming the desert, cursing whoever sees him with bad luck. You don't really believe that, do you? All I know is, Ed Raleigh sees the horse, and what happens less than two minutes later? He gets bit by a rattlesnake. You do the math. <laughs> okay. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Bye. Hey, you're crowding me here, Nancy. I need <laughs> elbow room when I cook. Sorry. Nancy, don't crowd the man. What's in here? I want to cook some things. I want to bake a cake. Can I bake a cake? A vinegar pie. Hey, you're crowding me here, Nancy. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry. 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 Uh, I guess we'll go outside. Uh oh. So what are we looking for? Oh, there's a guy over there. Hello. You talked to the Raleigh's? Sure did. He sure did. Do you think Ed's gonna be all right? He'll be okay. Getting bit by a rattler's no picnic, but it sounds like he's out of the woods. Shorty told me about the phantom horse that appeared just before it happened. Did you see it too? It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Guess you're gonna be asking me a lot of questions, huh? I'm sorry, am I bugging you? The Raleigh said you were a detective. Their niece, Bess Marvin? She told them that, and she exaggerates. I'm gonna be honest with you, ma'am. We were short a couple hands to begin with, and now with the Raleigh's gone and everybody on edge over what happened last night, well, this is not a good time to be visiting Shadow Ranch, that's all. Okay. The Raleigh's asked me to take something out to Mary Yazzie's, but it's in the den in the roll-top desk, which is locked. They said you had the key? Sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. Great, thanks. To get to Mary's shop, just follow the trail that goes northeast out of the corral. Can't miss it. And I should probably warn you, she doesn't like the Raleigh's. How do you know? It's just the feeling I get when I talk to her, that's all. I'll let you get back to work. No, Appreciate no, it. no. I wanted to ask about the rattle there. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? How yes, do you, you think can. that rattlesnake wound up in the Raleigh's bedroom? Probably crawled in through a mouse hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Nighttime's when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Has anything like that ever happened here before? Not since I've been here. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. I am loving the wide kind of screen here, or I guess more full screen the look here. This is nice. All right, so uh, we need to kind of look at what we got here. We have our key. Okay. And we have our notebook. Oh, wow. Uh, call Bess and George. Oh, ask Dave for the key. I thought I did that already. 
Okay, so let's call uh, the ladies. This is not the right time. Ew. Okay. Let's go inside the kitchen coop. Hey you! Don't even think about taking my eggs. When I'm here, it makes me crazy. <laughs> oh, we can't make a phone call in front of the chickens here, or the hens? How do I even get out of here? Okay, let's go see. This is the corral, I'm assuming. Oh, look, there's a map. Oh, that looks like some sort of uh, trail. So I don't even know what you call it, like a practice trail thing. Holy cow, horse parts! <laughs> cannon? I didn't know they're that part of their, basically their shins, I guess, are called cannons? Wow. Cool, cool. That's neat. Ace. Who's Ace? Look at all these crazy saddles here. Measure by pound into a bucket. Oh Better boy. not go messing around in there. I guess once we have the chores, then we will deal with that, I suppose. I guess we're gonna have to mix some stuff up. Yummy. Better not go messing around in there. Okay, Nancy, stop messing around with the horse feed. Always check your girth before hitting the trail. Oh, I want to wear that nice white cowboy hat. This is pretty cool. I like it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are you doing here? Where? What? How did you... <laughs> so which one are you? The nice the one. The nice one? The Raleigh said they were going to be inviting some young ladies out here. I take it you're one of them. I'm Nancy Drew. My two friends haven't arrived yet. Why not? Actually, that's a good question. I brought three horses in this morning. Hardly fair to keep them tied up all day if nobody's gonna ride them. Okay. And you are? I'm the head wrangler. You wanna ride, you come to me. You prove to me you know what you're doing, I may just let you. Did you see the Phantom Horse last night? I saw something. Just what? I still ain't sure. Now if you want to ride, listen up. First thing you're gonna do is never ride unless you're wearing a hat and gloves. And unless you got a full canteen of water, you can wear that hat over there. It's Mrs. Raleigh's. Got a helmet built right in. Her gloves are on the saddle you'll be using. And you can get a canteen from Shorty. Then you're gonna saddle and bridle your horse. No need to brush them. I do that when I bring them in. Then you're gonna lead him to the mountain block in the corral and mount up. Then I'm gonna ask you some questions. You can't ride outside the corral till you get all the answers right. <laughs> this is a trivia test, okay. Once I pass your test, can I ride any time I want? Long as you talk to me first. When you're done riding, you're gonna dismount, hook your horse up, take the saddle and bridle off and put him back where you got him. Always keep your gloves with your saddle. Do these horses ground tie? Yep. If you get off when you're on the trail, don't tie your reins to nothing. Just drop them. And barring an earthquake or something, old Bob will stay put. Bob? Bob? Who's Bob? The bay over there. Name's Bob. That's who I'm putting you on. Talk to you later. Yahoo. <laughs> okay, Yahoo. Alrighty then. So, looks like he's doing some saddle repairs or something. Where was the hot? Uh, this is... Yay, I now have a cat. Oh, you know what? That's the same cowboy hat I really, really wanted. Now, where are the gloves? Oh, there they are. Oh, that's the actual saddle. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So I need a canteen from Shorty. This is a very small room, sir. I gotta go find Shorty now. Well, hello there. You got some friends back there? <laughs> Oh, this is great. I love it. Oh, I don't Hi know. there. You two aren't too shabby looking either. Look at them. They're adorable. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing in there either. Okay. So... Uh, I guess I can go No this sense way. going in there oh. without a horse to ride. Yes, Nancy, that does make a sense. I don't want to lug this saddle around all day. I should put it back. 
Okay. Uh, let's put it back then. Hmm. Oh, I see. I gotta do this, do I? I think. Yay! Alright, folks, this is a good place for us to pause for now, and we haven't even talked to the girls! It's crazy, but we're back. We're playing more Nancy Drew. I'm your Gibbs, and I'll see you next time.